What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And, you know, anytime Chris Pratt gets a job, Twitter loses its collective mind. Why? Well, because they've pre-ascribed this political position to him, one in which he has never indicated that he holds, but because Twitter says he does, well, then it's factual. I mean, I suppose that's all you can say about it. I, I, I know, you know... Chris doesn't really come across as some sort of overly political guy, in my opinion. Uh, he seems to just kind of exist. But Twitter thinks he's a, a hardcore Republican uh, because he, what? Because he goes to church. That church uh, uh, held some views that non-progressive views, as churches often do. Uh, but now he's been cast in Garfield, in addition to Super Mario, and Twitter is losing its collective mind, calling him a phobe and an ist and bringing up all this, this absolute nonsense narrative. You can see this article in Independent. Garfield fans bemoan decision to cast Chris Pratt. Did he win a bet with a witch? Chris Pratt as Garfield is the biggest miscasting since Chris Pratt is Mario. Now, I will admit, I am, I have no faith in either one of these positions. And it's not because I don't like Chris Pratt. I like Chris. I like him as Star-Lord. I liked him in um, uh, Parks and Rec. Um, I, he seems like a wholesome guy, a family guy, and that seems rare in Hollywood, but I've never really seen him as a voice actor. So he's going to have to blow my mind with Super Mario, um, and he's also going to have to do it with Garfield. These are two iconic roles um, that are going to be tough, I think. You know, if, I mean, hopefully Chris takes it seriously and they, Garfield just doesn't sound like Chris Pratt. You know what I mean? Like, that's particularly true for Mario. I think you could pull it off with Garfield um, since, I mean, Garfield just sounded like Bill Murray when Bill Murray did Garfield. Um, I think a lot of my viewers, including myself, we we uh, we relate to Garfield. I thought it was pretty, pretty uh, hilarious that they announced it on Monday, by the way. Fans of Garfield have shared their frustration at the news Chris Pratt has been cast in the forthcoming adaptation. The news comes just weeks after it was revealed that Pratt will also voice the iconic video game character Mario in the forthcoming Super Mario movie, a decision that was met with backlash of its own. On social media, viewers lamented the decision to cast a to not cast a specialized voice actor to play Garfield, with many claiming that Pratt was ill-suited for the role. When all these people didn't whine, I don't know if these same people whined about Bill Murray or not. Um, that was so long ago. That movie was a disaster. Um, even Bill Murray himself memed it um, in um, the zombie movie. What was that called? I forget what it was. Anyway, it was like, any regrets? Uh, Garfield. Um, Day Z? Z Day? D I don't know. I can't think of it. Uh, but it, um, with Jesse Eisenberg, um, the first one was good. Second one sucked. Woody Harrelson, too. Um, anyway, I agree. I, I think like a voice actor would have maybe been a better fit. But it's like Hollywood doesn't do it that way anymore because they want Hollywood actors. Chris Pratt sells tickets. And that's what really frustrates Twitter the most. I don't want to live in a world in which Mario and Garfield are the same guy, wrote one person. Chris Pratt as Garfield is the biggest miscasting since Chris Pratt is Mario. Don't care. It doesn't matter. Won't see it. Never seen a Garfield. But it's very funny to me that this is a thing now. Okay. In the beginning, animated movies started using Chris Pratt were spaced by 24 weeks, then 12, then 6, then every two weeks. The last one which Gar with Garfield was a week. In four days, we could be seeing a new casting announcement every eight hours until they're coming every four minutes. The most generic some guy voice available, and they did keep throwing iconic, unique sounding animated characters at him. Did he win a bet with a witch? I mean, I, here's the AV Club, also angry about it. Chris Pratt now also voicing Garfield for some reason. Now, again, I admit, I really hope that he takes this seriously. I have every reason to believe he will. I want Gar his Garfield voice to sound totally unique from his Super Mario voice. But it is curious that we didn't you know, that they didn't go with somebody who just you know does this for a living. We don't know anything else about this movie in terms of the plot or whether um, there will be you know a Anya Taylor Joy will be playing Odie or if Harry Styles will be playing John Arbuckle. But 
Nothing about it should be particularly surprising now that they've pulled off a Chris Pratt Band-Aid. Also, as we should acknowledge at this point, Bill Murray played Garfield in the last two movies, but that was also an inexplicable casting choice, made slightly more explicable by the story that Bill Murray somehow thought writer Joel Cohen was the famous director Joel Cohen. Another thing we'll say is that pop culture impact of Garfield's strip is different today than it was all those years ago, and the people will be disappointed if this new movie doesn't pay homage to the beloved strip about John giving birth to a healthy letter of puppies. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't think, like, Garfield is that is that serious of a thing right now. I mean, I love Garfield, but, like, I'm even kind of young to have that kind of affinity for him. Um, and if you look at Twitter, of course, Twitter loses its absolute mind. You see, like, Garfield is a communist and, and Chris Pratt is a phobe. Does anyone remember when we bullied the Sonic movie so bad that it changed the design? Can we do that again, but with Chris Pratt as Garfield? Please don't make any one of my comfort characters be voiced by a phobe, thanks. We do a lot of Chris Pratt jokes here, and because of Garfield, but I want to do make it clear that the dude is likely a phobe and has ties to far-right churches. F Chris Pratt. Now, churches, there are churches that claim to be progressive these days, although I don't really know how those two things really fit together. Maybe they do. Uh, but, like, I mean, there are thousands of tweets. I, I, I don't get it. Like, I don't, I get we don't like Chris Pratt because phobe, but does anyone really care about Garfield? I mean, I think there probably are a lot of people. I do think that, if you want to introduce Garfield to a newer audience, to like, you know, a younger audience, that using a well-known actor is probably the best way to do that. You know, for, for us, Bill Murray voicing him felt like such a great hit. But the movie was not very good. I don't remember it being good. I suppose I could be wrong, but I remember it being terrible. Stop letting Chris Pratt do things. Let him live in exile. I could give an S that he's a phobe. What kind of loser divorces Anna Ferris? Okay, I don't know. I mean, there. I mean, it just goes on. Gross. Here's Rob Gill, certified blue check mark. Chris Pratt is a phobe. Meow, meow. I'm not a phobe. Meow, lasagna. Still better than Chris Pratt. I, again, all of this stuff. All of this stuff is literally summed up by this meme, dude. Sources, dude. Trust me. I, you know, I haven't been to church in a long time. But when I did go to church, there were things about that church that I didn't agree with. Um, but I went for the community and for the overall, you know, kind of being a good person meme of church. Um, that's basically what Twitter has been. You know, they've taken one of the, the roughest positions that his church ever held and making Chris Pratt totally responsible for that. The idea that, you know, maybe he's tied in with that um you know, that Congress, um, is that what they call it? Congress? No, that's not right. Why can't I think of that word? He's tied in with the people at that church. You know, there's a certain level of, you know, as a Hollywood actor, you have to kind of have, um, you know, some safety where people will treat you like everyone else. Maybe the other, you know, the other people in that church are important to him, more important to him than this one or two things that he doesn't agree with. Um, you see, Chris Pratt revealed his new voice of Garfield the cat as social media reacts to the latest casting. And by saying reacts, it's just rage. I, I think it's awesome. New York Times journalist Dave Itzkoff suggests that Pratt's Parks and Rec co-star Nick Offerman, who played the curmudgeon Ron Swanson, might have been a better fit. Man, I don't hate that either. Executives who can't remember Nick Offerman's name, get me the guy from Parks and Rec. Other executives, okay. Yeah, I could see Nick Offerman doing pretty good as Garfield, to be honest with you, too. Um, there are probably better options, but most people outside of Twidiots really like Chris Pratt. It'll be weird to see if, like, depending on when these movies release, like if you see Garfield and then, like, four months later you see Mario and it's the same guy. I just really, really hope Chris Pratt takes it seriously and varies his voice up enough to make them feel like two totally unique characters and not just animated versions 
of Chris Pratt, which admittedly I felt Bill Murray was with Garfield and happens all the time with Hollywood actors. But if it's a resurgence in everyone's favorite lasagna loving Monday hating cat, I'm 100% here for it. What do you think about the casting? Do you think it was uh, overuse? Do you think he'll do just fine? I'll be curious to hear your comments in the comment section down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.